items. I'll have to show you what's in my freezer now, don't I? Here is a freezer tour. Frozen berries, cacao nibs. I keep these in the freezer because I don't actually know why I keep them in the freezer. I just do. Coffee, I keep my coffee in the freezers to mm, like reduce its exposure to heat to maintain the freshness more, but I don't know if that actually scientifically does anything or not. Most important thing with coffee is that you keep it in a airtight container to prevent oxidation of the polyphenols and that will just also slow down the spoilage of your coffee. This is somebody's frozen chicken thighs. Oh, this is frozen kale. And then inside of here, I've filled this with broccoli. So that way when I go to make bone broth, I will be able to put broccoli in it. Inside of here, this is all bone marrow that I harvested. I make a lot of bone broth all the time and what I do is I get beef bone marrow bones but before I actually like cook the bones I will get a spoon and scoop out the bone marrow and then I freeze it in here and you don't like you don't want to treat bone marrow like butter because there's proteins in there and there is blood and connective tissue so if you treat it like butter and you just like keep it in your fridge for a month it will spoil and it will go bad and it will probably make you very sick. So I keep it in the freezer as if it is raw meat because there is blood and there is connective tissue in here because this is bone marrow. I will use like a tablespoon of this to cook my eggs. I know it, I know it sounds disgusting, but it is so freaking good. Like there is no more delicious, decadent, rich way to cook eggs than in bone marrow. Okay, what else is in my freezer? Flax seeds. I keep them in the freezer because I purchased them in bulk and keeping them in the freezer keeps them in a cool, dark place away from oxygen. Oxygen, light, and heat, these drive rancidity in high fat products. So keeping your flax seeds in the freezer just helps prevent rancidity of the fatty acids. Flax seeds have a ton of omega-3 fatty acids, so if you are purchasing flaxseed oil, don't purchase flaxseed oil anymore. Same for walnut oil because it is so... Because the fatty acid composition is so high in unsaturated fatty acids, these can very easily, very quickly get damaged by oxygen. So basically, as soon as you open that thing of flaxseed oil or walnut oil, the oxygen is immediately reacting with the fatty acids, with the unsaturated fatty acids and causing oxidation or rancidity. So just stick with olive oil, keep it in a cool dark place, keep your olive oil in the fridge, flax seeds, nuts, walnuts, keep these in the freezer just to keep them higher quality. Berries, beef, frozen chicken, grass, fed Canadian stir-fry beef. Basically, this is like a sirloin steak chopped up into little kebab-sized chunks. And then I keep it in the freezer and I'll add it to bone broth or I will just like stir-fry it up and enjoy as one does enjoy their steak. Organic edamame. I love edamame so freaking much. It's got chlorophyll in it, which makes it green. Chlorophyll is a very powerful cellular antioxidant and well known for its detoxification processes. And then also soy is a complete protein. So it's got all the essential amino acids. So if you're vegan or vegetarian and you wanna increase your protein, this is a really good choice because it does have all the essential amino acids. It's low calorie, high protein, high fiber, so let's just go over the nutrition. In half a cup, 120 calories, five grams, five grams of fiber and 11 grams of protein. And I'm gonna be so totally real. I will eat two cups of this. So 120 times four equals like 480. 11 times four equals 44 and five times four equals 20. So if I eat two cups of this, that's 480 calories, 44 grams of protein, and 20 grams of fiber, and a lot of minerals, a lot of nutrition. If you are worried about soy and tofu and like estrogens and GMO, 
you don't have to eat edamame. I eat edamame. I'm not necessarily worried about it because this is organic, natural, and some of the world's healthiest populations eat soy products all the time. These in our fridge, these are Airhead snow cones, and they're just a fun little treat. This concludes the tour of everything in my freezer and my cupboards and my subscription on Amazon to my monthly sardines. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. It helps me put more time, energy, and resources into making these videos and into making the freebies that go along with these videos like the biochemistry series or the antioxidant series. Also, see part Juan, part Juan, where I talk about goat cheese, sheep cheese, and show you everything in my fridge. Okay, I still have that prebiotic thing like stuck in my throat, so I need to go swallow water and edit these videos. Goodbye, everybody. See you later. And thank you for watching. Okay, goodbye.